good to see you. Oh, your boy get killers is back for the video, man. I just, I'm just chilling right now. <laughs> We're gonna talk about more Suicide Squad, kill the Arkhamverse, man. Why is this game still going? Why, why does a Rocksteady just pull the plug, cancel this trash, whatever plans, whatever seasons y'all got coming up, throw it in the garbage and move on and give us a Superman game or another Batman game or? A cyborg game or something, a Teen Titans game. There you go, Rocksteady. I'm giving you an idea right now. Give us a Teen Titans game or a Batman Beyond game starring Terry McGinnis. That will sell millions. But no, we're still continuing with Suicide Squad. I hate this game. It's terrible. I already played it on my channel. If you want to go watch me play it, I'm going to leave the playlist link in the description box. I hate the story. I hate the characters. I hate some, most of the fucking mission design is terrible, it's repetitive as shit, the voice acting is horrible, the jokes are terrible, the, 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 the disrespect and, and horrible treatment of these legendary DC superheroes is abhorrent, but Suicide Squad is back yet again with a second season. What was the DLC character, was it the Jonkler? Yeah, we cover how trash that was. Now, we have... Mrs. Freeze. Oh, man, I can't wait to talk about Mrs. Freeze. Now, what you're thinking is, is Mrs. Freeze Nora? Like, Nora Freeze, who took Mr. Freeze's suit and is now going around acting like Mr. Freeze? Well, <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, but for right now, we're going to look at this. Second season. Second season of the fucking game. This is season two, and you know we gotta go fight and kill like 13 Brainiacs. The last one we fought was Brainiac Superman, and then he morphs into the final boss fight of the game. They are reusing the Flash boss fight for a third time. Are you serious? We killed the Flash in the main story, and then at the end of the game, Brainiac takes Flash's form. And in the DLC in season two, they reuse the same boss fight that shows you how lazy Rocksteady is. You see, I am now a league of my own. And he, it's the same fucking boss fight. So you kill Flash Brainiac again, and then it's revealed, uh-oh, the Flash, the actual Flash wow. is alive. He's the Get it winded. Wow, how the fuck is Barry alive? Didn't we kill him in the main story? I get it. It's it, it's it's DC. No one really dies. Like, did Brainiac revive him? Did, 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 did what was that a clone that we killed? I've been hearing that people are saying that the League members we killed in the main story are clones. Why the fuck didn't Rocksteady clarify that in the main story? Like they knew the damn uh, they knew the outrage that was going to ensue. They knew what was going to happen. That's why the original dudes that started Rocksteady, that founded Rocksteady, left. Because they knew the shitstorm that was coming. Why didn't they insinuate at the end or show us that, hey, the League members are alive. They're still kept on Brainiac shit. Go rescue them during the season pass DLC. Okay, well, at least they're alive. At least we kill clones. No, I, I, I don't know if they explain it, and I don't really give a shit to know. From what I understand, Brainiac revived them. So you save the Flash, and this is the cutscene you get after saving the Flash. The are you idiots doing? This is what you get. Get the Flash into stasis. Slideshow. Slideshow. Oh, they couldn't even fucking animate it. You rescue the Flash, and the cutscene of you getting him to safety and putting him in a pot or whatever is a lazy you ass cutscene. This is trash. What the fuck is this? This is the amount of effort that you're putting into this game. Listen, I know the game is garbage. I know Rocksteady doesn't believe in the game anymore. Cool, whatever. Put more effort into this shit. This is a disgrace. The entire game is a disgrace. And it disrespects the shits on the Arkham vs. Legacy. But are you serious right now? 
Look at this shit. It's a slideshow. They went into photo mode, and then they just positioned the characters a certain way, and they put it into the game. Complete trash. Are you fucking serious? And it gets worse. It gets worse. This is Mrs. Free, the Mrs. Freeze cutscene. They reveal who she is. Let, let's look. Mrs. Freeze is an alternate version of Victor Freeze called Victoria Freeze. To where in her timeline, she has a Nora and that's her wife. Rant incoming. Why not use the actual Mr. Freeze in the Arkhamverse? Last time I checked, after Arkham Knight, he was still alive. If you really wanted to use a Mrs. Freeze, why not reveal that after Arkham Knight, Mr. Freeze gave Nora his suit so that she can live and survive. And then he passes away, sacrificing himself for his wife. And then uh, this could have been revealed to be Nora Freeze, continuing on the legacy of her late husband that gave her his suit so she could fucking live. Instead... You go and bring in an alternate gender bent version of Mr. Freeze? Why? This is so fucking stupid. Normally, I don't get irritated over gender bent or race swapping, but this is so unnecessary when the real Mr. Freeze is right there. You could have used Scarecrow, the Batman who laughs, or better yet, you want to have a female character that uses ice powers? Why not use Killer Frost? And yet you insult all of us by giving us this stupid ass, ugly ass, gender bent, Mr. Freeze? Really? This is what we're doing, Rocksteady? This is why y'all suck dick now. This is why y'all suck ass. This is why this game is a fucking failure. Because the people behind this game are making shit that the fans don't want or care for. Do you really think, did anyone in their brains at Rocksteady Studios actually thought that the fans want to see this trash? on my screen right now no and we haven't even gotten to the best part yet look at the writing of the cutscene of mr freeze and arkham knight won't have much time days incredible writing man this game was so fucking good bro holy shit oh my goodness man time never has been on our side victor damn man sad heartbreaking what victoria Frias, i presume and this is Amanda Waller. Kill the Arkhamverse. So tell me again about the partner benefits. Boring. The deductibles are hell. Whoa, Lifeless. Like a giant collectible. You know thing I gotta say? The music in Kill the Justice League is terrible. It's fucking trash. I hate the music. Turn that motherfucker off! Get out of here! I refuse to believe the same thing people who composed Arkham Knight composed this game. She's in mint condition. B N I B. What the fuck is B N I B? Look at this. Like this is. Nora has undergone vitrification. She is not an action figure. Like she's ho this is terrible. Like the writing of this game is so dull and lifeless compared to Arkham Knight. This is a 2015 fucking video game. Yourself anymore. I wish I could have told you sooner. Well, is it my idea of having Mrs. Freeze be Nora better than having a gender bent Mr. Freeze? I don't want you to die, Nora. Look at the emotion. Then let me live. The incredible writing. Amazing, incredible. And we jump to this filth. Come on. I thought you'd be up for taking the long shot. God, I hate this no Amanda Waller. Cost. I hate this Amanda Waller, man. Like, it makes me want to go play Jedi Survivor. Because <laughs> Seer in this game sucks. The Seer in Jedi Survivor is way better than whatever the fuck Amanda Waller is. Oh, my God. Oh, dingly. Look at this shit. Oh, my God. It's so dull and lifeless. Did I even say anything? They didn't even say anything. They just looked at her out. Just look. Look. Look at this. They ain't saying shit. They ain't even saying anything. 
Zero dialogue. Just looking around like dumb fuck. Like really? Scientific minds. Oh my god. What happened here? Uh, why is she Asian? No the cost. Is Mrs. Freeze Asian? Why is she Asian? <laughs> what the fuck is Get this? Cute couple. Oh god. And, you got silent. and then she willingly gives herself the bomb. She puts the bomb in her neck. Why? I don't know. I, I don't fucking know. This shit is garbage. I, I I still can't believe that this is rock steady. I was watching my boy Luke Stevens the other day. I mean yesterday. And look, this is Mrs. Freeze outfit. This shit is disgusting. What is this? What is this? Is this a joke, Rock Steady? Is this a fucking joke? Yes, it is, because these are the current people playing Kill the Arkhamverse. Look at this. 400, 370 people currently playing. Let's see how many people are playing the other Arkham games. Wow. 3,000 people playing Arkham Knight. These are single player games. This game came out in 2015. 2011 game, Arkham City. 900 people playing currently. 2009 game, Arkham Asylum. 634 and a 2013 game regarded as the worst Arkham game, which it's not. Arkham Origins is still pretty great. Has 564 people playing right now. All above Suicide Squad Kill the Arkhamverse. What happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. Rock City fucked up. Cancel this shit. Whatever plans y'all got in the pipeline. End it now. Okay? I don't give a fuck. Oh, kill, give it a second chance. No. There is no giving this game a second chance. Fuck this game. Rock Steady. You got to get your heads back on right. Batman Beyond game or 18 Titans game. Trust me, that will do wonders. Enough live service garbage having to grind hours to unlock a character or you could just give them 10 bucks and you immediately get access to Mrs. Freeze who has, I heard, has one of the worst traversal systems in the game besides Harley. I heard Boomerang plays better. I heard Joker plays better. What the fuck is the point of Mrs. Freeze? Garbage. Second channel link in the description on my Twitch. I'm getting the fuck up out of here, man. Life's got favorite. Come to the Discord. Link it in the pinned comment. 18 and up only. Let's do 30 likes for Shocker Manager. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. I'm playing me some Ark Knight on my Steam Deck to rinse this trash and filth out of my taste buds. Hit the outro.